All right, here we go. Question number eight from our Calculus One homework number one in WebAssign. It says, for the function f whose graph is shown, state the following. If the limit is infinite, enter either positive infinity or negative infinity as appropriate. If the limit does not otherwise exist, we're going to enter d in e for does not exist. So just to point out, first of all, before we answer any of these questions, if a limit goes to infinity or negative infinity, technically it does not exist. But since they specify that they want to enter the infinity symbol, if it does go to infinity, then we're going to follow the instructions. All right, part A, it says the limit of this function as x approaches negative 7. And so if we go to where negative 7 is on the graph, we can see that on the left and the right-hand side of 7, the graph tends to negative infinity. So we're going to click in the box, and we're going to input negative infinity. Now I think INF should satisfy the infinity. If not, we can make this smaller. Notice our tool, toolbar on the right-hand side. We could go to symbols and click the infinity symbol. And so since we do have that available, I'm going to go ahead and use the infinity symbol. And we'll move on to the next question. Next, it wants the limit as x approaches negative 3. Again, if we zoom in to where negative 3 is on the graph, we can see on either side the graph tends to infinity. So for part B, that would be positive infinity since we're going up. Next, the limit as x approaches 0. Again, zooming in to where x is 0. On either side, we're going to positive infinity again. And so for part C, we're going to input infinity. Now, look at part D. This says x approaches 6 from the left. And so if we go to our graph, look at 6 coming in from the left, we're going to negative infinity. And so for that part, we're going to put the negative sign and the infinity. Part E, we're coming in to 6 from the right. And again, if we scroll up, look at 6 from the right-hand side, that's going up to positive infinity. So again, for part E here, we're going to put the infinity symbol. And then for part F, it says the equations of the vertical asymptotes. Enter your answers as a comma-separated list. And since they already put the x equal, we don't have to put the x equal. We just need to put the numbers where the vertical asymptotes exist. All right, so here we have a vertical asymptote at negative 7, negative 3, 0, and 6. Negative 7, negative 3, 0, and 6. Comma, separated list. Negative 7, negative 3, 0, and 6. Should be all of the vertical asymptotes. And then what we can do is we can click Submit to see how we did. And for this problem, scrolling through our responses, we can see that everything is correct. And so that's going to do it for this particular problem. If you have any questions or comments about anything covered in this video, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.